Have you ever seen a pair of shoes that you just had to have? Gabriel did, but there's one problem. His mom won't pay any more than $30 for them. Can Gabriel find somewhere that sells his beloved shoes for that low? Let's find out when we read, Gabriel gets a great deal together. Are you ready? Chapter one is called As Fast as a Cheetah. The next school race is coming up on Friday. I really want to win. Can I get some fast kid shoes? I asked mom, pointing at the ad on TV. Mom shook her head. Your old shoes are fine, Gabriel. Well, I want to be as fast as a cheetah, I said, but my feet are getting too big for my shoes. I can't win the race with shoes that pinch. Mom laughed. Okay, Cheetah, let's look online to see what they cost. Here's the Fast Kids website, I said. Can I order the shoes now? Hold on, said Mom. See how much they are? We can't spend more than $30. Try another website. Turn and talk. Does your family ever shop online? What are some of your favorite websites that you like to visit? Here are some for $30, I said. Mom pointed to the screen. See where it says $10 for fast shipping? You need the shoes soon and shipping adds to the price. Keep looking for a better deal. We checked more websites, but fast kids always cost too much. So let's take a math break. How much would $30 shoes cost with $10 added for shipping? Can you add 30 plus 10? That's right, the answer is $40. Chapter two, shopping time. Let's visit Mr. Smith's shoe store, said mom. We bought your old shoes there. We drove to Mr. Smith's. They had fast kids in every color. Try them on and take a careful look to make sure they're as good as you think, said mom. Mom liked them as much as I did, but she didn't like the $38 price tag. Well, they'll be on sale next month, said Mr. Smith. Can you wait? I shook my head. The shop next door sold newspapers. Mom bought one and gave it to me. Look for ads. That's another way to find a great deal, she said. The Shopmore store had the biggest ad. It said, sale, sale, sale. Oh, here's one, I said. Shopmore's ad has a coupon. Have you ever seen a coupon before? Yeah. It says, $10 off all shoes through this weekend. <gasps> Can we go? So let's take another math break. Fast kids' shoes usually cost $38 at Shopmore. How much will they cost with the coupon? Do you remember what the coupon said? $10 off. So $38 minus $10 would be $28. You're exactly right. Chapter three is called A Hard Choice. Shopmore had bikes, backpacks, and bananas but they didn't have fast kids' shoes. Sold out, said a sign. <laughs> I'll never be cheetah fast, I said. Well, how about those other shoes, mom pointed. They aren't as flashy as fast kids, but they'll last until your feet get even bigger, and they cost only $20 with the coupon. <gasps> We'd have enough money left to go to Pizza King. That sounds fun. So, Turn and talk. Where is your favorite place to shop? Do you like to go to the mall and go to a store? Or maybe like we said earlier, maybe online shopping is the thing that we like to do. Where do you like to shop to get your things? I just couldn't choose. I love the games at Pizza King. Did that mean I should buy these shoes? But what if they made me as slow as a sloth? Should I wait for the fast kids sale at Mr. Smith's? We'd have another school race in a month. 
If you're not sure, it's better to go home and think longer, said mom. But beside, but, but decide before your toes pop out of your old shoes. So turn and talk. If you were Gabriel, what would you choose? Chapter four is called The Best Deal. On the way home, I had an idea. Can we check the thrift store? I asked. I got a football there once for only $2. Have you ever been to a thrift store before? They're lots of fun. Good idea, said mom. But remember, you never know what they'll have. Guess what I found at the thrift store. Not fast kids, but something just as good. Cheetah speed shoes. The same kind that Manuela wore to win last month's race. They're only $10 because they've already been worn, said mom, but they're still in good shape. How do they fit? Not one pinch, I said. Finally, I found a great deal. But do you want to know the best deal of all? I won the race. Great job, Gabriel. So friends, did you know that Ads try to talk people into buying or doing a certain thing. Have you ever seen an ad before? Maybe in a newspaper or a magazine or even on television? Gabriel saw fast kids shoes in a TV ad. The ad asked him to buy the shoes. He also found a coupon in a newspaper ad. The ad and coupon were meant to talk him into buying shoes at a certain store. Do you think we can make an ad of our own that we can give to our family members or our friends? That would be fun. First, I want you to think of something that you believe other people would like to buy. Maybe it's a toy or a kind of cereal, some cool shoes like Gabriel's or anything else you can imagine. Gather these materials, a large sheet of paper and crayons or markers. Draw a picture of your item on a sheet of paper. Try to make it look as good as possible so that others would want to buy it. For example, you might show a computer game with lots of friends gathered around together playing it. That looks awfully fun. Next, come up with something to say about your item. It should be something that would make people want to buy it. This could be something like best toy of the year or yummy and good for you for a cereal. Think about ads that you see on TV or the writing that you see on toy boxes. Finally, add a coupon to your ad if you want to. The coupon could offer a dollar off or maybe free shipping. And when you have finished making your ad, Give it to a friend or family member. Ask them if your ad would make them want to buy your special item. I hope you enjoyed Gabriel Gets a Great Deal. If you would like to purchase this book, please click the link below. And thank you for joining me today.